what's the crack welcome to today's episode my name is david kelly i'm the irish guy vlogs and thank you so so much for joining me i really do appreciate you joining me now the title of the video the story behind this rare john lennon photograph this one right here um you might be wondering how i know the story behind it and i'm gonna tell you how to fix my hair first the state of me i have huge like look at these i have even have spots and stuff i'm getting old look at these bags and the spots jesus okay so the story behind this John Lennon photograph is kind of interesting. So I was in work about a month and a half ago and I was just standing there cleaning baskets and this elderly man came up next to me and he had a Beatles face mask on. And I went, oh, I really like your face mask. I love the Beatles. They're my favorite band. And he went, oh, you love the Beatles, do you? Yeah, totally love them. This is exactly how it went, by the way. Yep, yeah, I totally love them. They're the best band ever. Well, if you like the Beatles, I'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you something really, really cool. What is it? Oh, I can't tell you. Can't tell you. My lips are sealed. It didn't go like that, but you basically get the idea. He had something really cool about the Beatles that he wanted to show me, and I was like, okay, I'm in work tomorrow. I'll meet you here, and I'll see it. So stupid me, I actually got my hours mixed up, and the following day, I was working the evening shift, and he actually came in. So the day after the day after, I went into work, and one of the ladies inside told me that this elderly man had been in to see me, and he had something for me, and he didn't want to leave it with them, and all this kind of stuff. So I was like, shit, I missed it. Crap, I was... I could anyway. I was annoyed about it, I was. So two days ago, I literally walked into work and this man was walking past me and he turned to me and he pointed, you're the man I was I was looking for. Oh, you're the Beatles fella. And he still had the mask on as well. And he told me the story about the photo. And do you want to know how he knew the story about the photo? Because he is the person that took the photo and he gave me a copy of it. For the first couple of minutes, I was like, this guy is like trying to pull some kind of con. Oh, he's like trying to wheel me in now with some Beatles story and then he'll tell me he's stuck and he needs money for petrol or something like that and I'm like yeah, yeah I've heard this before I've heard this all before but he gave me this photo and on the back of it is the actual story of how it happened so I'll read the story and uh, yeah photo shows John Lennon and Maureen Hall in the garden of John's home in Kenwood St George's Hill Weybridge Surrey England the photo was taken by Maureen's husband Richard in June 1968 this is the guy I met this is Richard John spent more than 45 minutes with Richard and Maureen and a young German friend before we left Maureen asked John if she could have a souvenir of our visit most people get like uh, an autograph or something like that you know John replied of course I'm trying to do my best John Lennon of course you can love <laughs> And he went back indoors. When he returned, he presented Maureen with the statuette that you can see in the photo. You can see it there. I'll put up a clearer photo. I noticed on the base of the statue that part of the word Ovello, and I immediately knew that this was John's Ivor Novello Award. The Beatles actually won 15 Ivor Novello Awards over their entire career, but in 1964 they were given an Ivor Novello Award for the song She's Leaving Home, and I absolutely love that song. But this is the award that John ended up giving to Maureen. So I'll continue reading. I took it from Maureen and could see that it was the Ivor Novell Award. There was a small plaque on the base which read, John Lennon, she's leaving home, 1967. I handed the statue back to John saying, you can't give this to my wife, you won this for your music. John took the statue from me and handed it back to Maureen, adding, in his own words, It's only gathering dust in the house, and if your wife would like to... <laughs> I'm... No, I'm committed, I'm committed to this. It's only gathering dust in the house, and if your wife would like... <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's only gathering dust in the house, and if your wife would like to keep it, she can have it. That'll do. Maureen grabbed the statue, and I knew I was not going to get it back for a second time. It was the most memorable day of our life. To spend that length of time in the company of John Lennon and his son Julian was more than I could ever have dreamed of. The memory of that day is 45 minutes plus will stay with us. I just think this is an amazing story. Like, this to me is just one of the coolest things I think I've ever been given. To meet that man, to actually have met someone that had met John Lennon, I just think that's really cool. And before he was about to leave, he had his mask on, he had his gloves on, he put his elbow out, and I put my elbow out and we touched him, and he said, no, you can say that you've rubbed elbows with someone who shook hands with John Lennon. And I just thought it was so cool. It was just really cool. And he was a really nice guy, and I'm going to treasure this, I honestly am. And Richard told me, he said, if someone asks you for this, he said, get them to take a photo of it or scan it he said don't give them this he said I have more of these and he said when he goes to America he gives them to people and tells them the story so I guess it's kind of like his party piece or his icebreaker I guess you know but he definitely broke the ice with me and I'm I'm really going to value this because I just think it's just a really really nice thing and I love the story behind it plus it's Beatles and it's a picture of John Lennon giving away an award I mean <laughs> like it must have been some kind of a statement for John Lennon you know it, like I think that he was maybe trying to say something by this you know when she asked him for something 
you mind if we have like some piece of something to remember the day but he's like yeah I'll just give you the thing that I worked really hard for so maybe this was his way of just trying to downplay the whole fame thing and do a flip on it and give someone an award that he'd actually won I don't know but I do really like the story and I hope you did too so some of you might be thinking that this is fake or that you know he could have just photoshopped that and put a story onto it and blah 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 so I had to google it so I just googled John Lennon Ivor Neville award and this is the first image that pops up there you go there's Maureen, there's John with the Ivor Novello Award, and yeah, I just couldn't believe it. So I asked Rich if he still had the award, and he said, don't ask what happened to it since. So I did a little bit of search, and I, and I guess you can hide these things from the internet, but it turns out that the statue was actually auctioned off in 2010 for a lot of money. It's so cool. So cool. Not only is it so cool that John Lennon just give these random people an award, but for me to meet the guy that actually took the photo and for him to tell me the story and for him to give me this because he knew I'd appreciate it. And it kind of says to me the things that you love can find you, that you don't always have to go to them. Sometimes they're, they're attracted to you as well and I just think this is really really cool. I don't know if I could if I should frame this or like put it in like a hinge frame where you can see it from both sides so you can see the picture and read the story as well, but uh, I'm really going to gonna value this and that is it for today's episode I'm really really busy so I thought a short video for today would probably be the best thing to do because I did want to post a video but I don't have time to do a long video which I just happened to me during the week and I just thought it would be an interesting story to tell and I just think it's completely random and cool thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel and you like my content subscribe down below smash that like button share it with your friends and I will see you again next Saturday with another video now I'm gonna go listen to some Beatles while I do some editing goodbye